Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Connie with Prairie Paper Crafts coming on today to share with you a treat box, basically a 4th of July treat box. Um, as I mentioned in the project share, this is from Treasure Box Designs. It is the last Saturday in June 2020. I think it's the 28th, I never know. But this freebie, this is the freebie this week. I have <clears throat> excuse me, changed a few things. I put the white for the eyes and I changed the star to white. So this is just laying here right now. Um, one other thing you will need if you choose to do the treat box, which completely optional, is a piece of, if you have it, a little bit heavier card set, this is some Stampin' Up! paper. I'm using stuff in my stash. So, But this will be cut at seven by seven and a quarter so I will get to that when we put the box part together but I just want to share with you a few things I did here first set this out of the way so my wheels I just put stickles on they are actually gray and they it's I think it's crystal stickles that is on here I'm not a hundred percent sure but my wheels I cut three times for each wheel, so I had four wheels, excuse me, 12 wheels. I had 11. I don't know if I didn't cut enough or if one disappeared as normal. So just thought I'd share with you that I did layer three pieces together. It gives it a lot more stability, something similar to like a chipboard effect. It'll just hold everything together better. And then I'm gonna get my little bear out of the way. This piece, I um, the, the the front, I cut two of two sides. So I have the front and the back for, or you know, two sides for the wagon to form the treat box. The side panels I did cut twice, and after they were glued, then I ran them through my embossing folder, and it is the. Sizzix, it's from Stampin' Up, it's just a, like a wood grain. I just wanted to give it a little bit more effect since it didn't have panels or anything. You don't have to because most wagons, like you think of the little red radio, radio wagons, they're just smooth. But you know me, I can't leave things well enough alone. <laughs> so anyway, I did two of those and then with the third from the cardstock, it will give the treat box a lot more stability personal preference you do not have to do any of that because it would be fine with just the treat box but anyway then I put the little uh, scalloped piece through just the Swiss dots cuddle bug folder just looked kind of boring there and then my two arms I cut twice because the the uh, mouse is going to be kind of sitting up above the you know treat wagon or the wagon so to speak I want him to also be a little more sturdy than just one piece of paper so I cut this twice and I put the little stitching on with just a fine tip marker you could use a colored pencil leave it off completely up to you his neck or his body excuse me I cut twice one piece got a little bit short because my mats are getting bad and anyway this will get sandwiched 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 I can't talk between the the two pieces of the head this I am just it's the back piece I glued my whiskers on already and I know they're uneven they get cut down but I wanted to save time on so here's actually the front part of his little nose. Again I cut the whites for the eyes. I just duplicated the blacks and made it a little bit bigger. And then I just have one of his inside ear. I have one of the just the base part of the heads or the you know front part. This part is what I cut two of. Again by the time we add the third one it'll be very sturdy and this body part get sandwiched between these two. 
So <clears throat> it will just make it sturdy and very clean, very clean looking at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this. I want to first put his ears on. Oh goodness. And before I forget, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you to everyone for watching and the comments. You guys are awesome. I love it. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. Really do appreciate that. It's been an interesting week. Um, yeah, so it was nice to see some really wonderful comments. I didn't realize you guys really do appreciate the videos and that that means a lot. So thank you. Before I go any further, I think I have enough chalk on here. I just want to put a little bit of chalk and if not, I'll come and I'll get some, pick some up. No, nope. it's close by. I just put a little bit of chalk, pink chalk in his ears. I get too much I'll just take it out I just wanna just a little excuse me and I know this is late for 4th of July if you're making treat boxes that's why I want to try to come on I started this last night um, got it all together and then I got tired and I was chatting with my sister and it was I woke up about 1 o'clock this morning just wide awake and thought, oh, I should get up and do a video. I thought, no, because about the time I get up and start doing things, I'll be sound asleep again. That's how I work. Three o'clock, I was still awake and like kicking myself because I just didn't come in and do a video. So anyway, uh, such is life, right? Now, before we put the head on, I do want to put the body in together. So what I'm going to do is assemble my face first okay and I kind of know where everything I want it to go let me put my eyes together first that would be a smart thing to do so I can have those where I want them I'm trying to pick it up with the glue I will lay that there so you can kind of see them better The reason I'm doing this is I have a hair trim appointment coming up on July 2nd and no July 3rd she's open on Friday for whatever reason I don't know people around here are all, all messed up with what holidays are what and what days off so anyway and I haven't seen her for a while because I've been having my niece cut my hair <clears throat> and just during this pandemic when I couldn't get to the beauty shop well I finally could get in and, and I thought you know what I want to even when I found out I was going I wanted to make her something but I just didn't know exactly what uh, more than just a card because she enjoys it when I she just thinks these are the cutest things I don't know I think people are crazier than I am but I thought I want to do something different and I saw this and pattern and I, I just instantly thought I have to find a way to create a treat box from this. It's just more than, and this was one of those files, I'll be honest, I didn't like the file. The picture of it, it, it just didn't do anything for me. I thought, well, I can make some changes and then it, you know, hit me, do a treat box. So this is what I'm coming up with. Don't ask, I don't know how my mind works some days. I really do not. I hope someone someday will figure it out and explain it to me uh, so I'm a little bit off on my black and my white and my eye here on this but to me it's the left eye but I'm gonna leave it alone I don't know how long it will get kept or anything so normally I'd go back and try and fix it but because of the I'm using art glitter glue and there's just no correcting that once it's done without making a whole new eye and my computer's off, my cricket's off, so we're good. Not the end of the world. I 
I had someone share with me, and I, I, I looked at it this morning, but I didn't write it down. I was in, in, not in a place where I could write things down. They have ordered some, <clears throat> a different kind of chalk, different brand, and I asked them to reach out to me and let me know if they liked it. Uh, they weren't aware of Pan Pastels, and I think this was a little cheaper. I gotta tell you, um, I've used Pan Pastels for quite a while now, but before I ever heard of them, I used just the regular chalks I have and they worked fine. So I'm really curious to see once how these other chalks work out for the uh, individual and if they work out good, uh, if she's okay or whatever. I'm gonna share it with you, the information. Or if you look at the last video, I am very sorry for that. I have jinx in my apartment, I swear. My TV is moved and I did not do that. Anyway, if about the chalks that this lady had ordered, if they work out well for her and if she's okay with it, I will definitely be sharing more information about them. Or as I was mentioning, you can watch the last video for the Peapod Bear and you'll have information there also. But let's get back to our mouse and putting it together and hope that the camera does not fall again. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been very humid here and actually quite warm, so I'm just starting to notice a bit of congestion again, but nothing, nothing major. Thank goodness. Just trying to make sure I get the chalk out of the white. And I'm going to go ahead and do the... I love the curled eyelashes. I really do. But I don't know if I've told you before, I cannot get my wrists and my fingers are very swollen today, so ignore those, but I cannot get my wrists to flick with the pen right, it doesn't want to, it, it just doesn't work for me, so <clears throat> I stick with this. How about that? Again, I don't want these too big where they take over the eyes. We'll be coming back once that dries and put the, uh, the ink in, or the chalk in the white chalk, but I'm going to go ahead and get some chalk on his little cheeks here, and I just use a mix of terracotta color, the dark red and the pink, and I'll just mix it on my hand today, as you can see. Again, uh, blush works really well if you have that instead, you know, if you're using an older blush, perhaps some you don't care for, by all means use that. Just a little bit darker than maybe I wanted it. He's been out in the sun, it's okay. He's been parading around town. Still have my muzzle piece on my tweezers there. I want to put this down just a little bit because the nose actually goes up a little bit. It doesn't go right at the top of this light gray. It goes up above a little bit, so put that in. If you've not seen how I do my Whiskers, I will quick show you. It's very, very simple, and I have the thread right here. I use quilting thread. I use blacker. This is like a smoky gray color. I just take it. I just, this won't show very well at first. I form 
So it just take it, make it loop at three, you know. So you got a loop on two sides and then the extra one. Chop it here, glue it on the back, and then you will see the rest of it in a moment. I first cut that loop, got both of those. And then I am going to have them just slightly past the head and I just cut them off. I do hold them together as best I can. Um, now this one I won't just because it's pretty staying pretty good. But uh, there you go. They're very simple. Just form the loops and you can kind of move them around where you, you know, want them, how you want them. But all right, put the white in here. Again, I will come back with some chalk. Just put a little bit of a nose. He looks kind of funky without the rest of his ears and everything. Now I'm gonna come on and glue this body in and I'm gluing both sides. Just to get it on good. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Ah, you know, we need to glue the whole head on, don't we? I'm not used to doing it this way. I like how the um, designers do this. I'm not sure if. I think Dina probably created this. She also has some of her design team create SVG files. I want to make sure that that head is, yeah, it is where I want it. Didn't really want that there, but okay. You can do the, if you do your little dots, you can do that before you put these on or after, it doesn't matter. Oops, kind of smeared there a little bit. We'll fix that. Let it dry and fix it easier. All these things happen on camera. They don't happen normally. I think part of it because I brought mom. Um, I'm trying to get it done too quickly, not to take up so much time. And I just shouldn't try that because I'm just not quick. It's is what it is. I do have a couple project share videos coming up. One, it's near to impossible to try to explain or put it together on camera on film, uh, but I will be coming back with that to kind of share with you. Let's see if I can fix this. If nothing else, I will just. Yeah, we'll just go over it and you kind of won't see it that big a deal. The other one a little bit bigger. Nothing's ever perfect. Okay, I'm going to set this little dude aside. Come on with... Put this together. First I'm putting my red pieces on. And then I'll show you... I'm going to decorate the whole thing, the front, or the sides, uh, both front side and the back side, so to speak, and then I will put it together. Just easier if pieces are flat to put it together. So, again, this will be the other side. I did the same thing. I ran it through the cuddle bug, or through the embossing folder. I used my big shot. My cuddle bug died, and... I still have the original multi-purpose platform. It's got the hinges on the end. Um, I just use it for the embossing folder and I just left the, the tab, that plastic tab up. So I had a little more room 
it went through perfect with two layers in the folder. It was wonderful. And because this folder likes to crack paper really bad, it didn't do any of that. So that was great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put our little wheel pieces together. Uh, I can get my tweezers. I have one more thing I'm going to do with these. First of all, I just want to hold them down a little bit because the glitter makes them want to curl very badly. You can put the glitter on once you're done. Uh, once you get them on there, I am not quite that steady. So I just put it on now and if it's not perfect, we'll just kind of chalk it up to dirt and rust. Again, that was not a step you have to do to add the glitter. I just lately tend to look at a piece and think, okay, what else can I do to it? And I overthink it. I did that with the, uh, if you happen to well, um, follow my Facebook, my fan page there. Oh, it's not quite straight, but I'm leave it. Um, I made a fall title from Cuddly Cute Designs. And it's a nice title just by itself, but of course I have to think, okay, what else can I do to dress it up? I just, so I got the stickles out and I added some foam tape to the pumpkin and I added some Nouveau drops and, you know, kind of crazy. For this, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'll use a, I'm going to try to find a ruler instead that you'll be able to see better. I'm going to line it up with my outside lines here. I want this lined up. Let's get this. I'm going to use two rulers. Go be able. I need to get my wheels straight on there so it, the, the basket doesn't wobble or stand crooked so not sure where I want these just trying to figure this out here we're gonna go like this this ruler won't work that's the problem the arms for on the side won't work Excuse my reach. If you see my arms and stuff in there, let's try this. Uh, and then, I'm not sure there's an exact science of how to do this, so I'm just kind of figuring this out. Normally, I would just use my mat as a guide, but I can't do that because I have my paper down, taped down, so. Uh, we're going to just leave it here. I'm just putting a piece of glue there. I'll unglue it in a minute, and hopefully it will be okay. I'm only putting glue on like about the top third of this or so. I can come back with more if I need. Kind of eyeballing that. Oops. Keep moving it. I think it would be easier to stand it up, but uh, I'm going to line it up with this. You can't probably see it, but there is a groove in this ruler that it, this just sits on and goes against. So I'm going to go with that. Don't want that moving too much. I'm going to get another one that's lined up better for the front. If you guys have a better way that you do this, I would love to hear it. Okay. Yeah, I was afraid that'll that'll get covered up with the uh, shred and stuff in there, so it's good. Should have used the other glue. 
but I'm okay. In fact, I think it's just tacky. Now it's good. Okay, so let's get that lined up. Get our other wheels going here. I'm not good at creating things on my own. It's easier when someone else has took the measurements, so I apologize if this is not an exact science. I'll get you the measurements of the wagon, and then the rest you can, if you keep it grouped together, you can resize it all the same. And I think it's pretty much the size that it came in on the SVG file, but I'm just going to double check here. So this is at, we're going to say four and a quarter for the, from the outside scalloped edge here to here. If you go with that width for the wagon, it'll give you a pretty good idea. And then the, this piece that I, I'm going to use for the wagon itself will also work better. Okay. I pop this up on some foam tape and it's just gonna go right here and so pretty much can go glue on all of the uh, foam tape. I made this bow from uh, using my bow at all, my Zetter bow at all and it's at one inch which is some Baker's twine I got from really reasonable ribbon. Happy Fourth of July is written with my Cricut and my pen that I use for all my pen work on my eyes and everything. That's um I don't remember the size, but it's a child's year is the font. This star I cut twice, glued it together. Again, I want things rather sturdy around the uh, text when it was done. I used my Spectrum Noir. Oh, what is it called? It's uh, Spectrum Noir Sparkle, and this is in the clear. So I, I just put that because otherwise it'll smear. That pen is not waterproof or anything. So. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm trying to think if I want to put my little mouse in first. I think this is cute just the way it is now with his, you know, his little arms on. Mm. Let me think about this a moment. This is the part I didn't think about last night. Sorry. I think it would be smarter to put the mouse on because then your box part is actually going to kind of cover it up so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna put glue on the front here and I'm gonna put some glue here just to hold it better now believe it or not this glue is uh, this bear he's a mouse he's going on straight he's not going at an angle this time I'm gonna try and get him centered and hold him there a moment It's kind of, I think it's going to be a beautiful day outside. I was looking, but, but humid. Huh? Oh, well. Okay. I want to put on the back side, I'm just putting a little bit of glue here. And then the rest of it will go on the bottom down here. And I think I'll put a little bit of glue on the front side too, just to, because it's going up by his neck. So just to kind of hold everything there. And... The glue had a bit of a bubble in it, so, but, um, yeah, it just goes like that. And again, I just was, no offense to, to Treasure Box Designs, because that happened to me around Christmas. There was a file that, mm, I don't know, just wasn't so impressed with. And I got it. It was one of her ornaments. Turned out so adorable, so 
hope you uh, go over and get this file and try it out. Even if you just do the bear, don't do a treat box. It is really cute. I am just trying to get this little... I don't think this one's going to go where I want underneath so much. And you could put this on first. It just, because of where I'm putting it, I needed it to be put on last. So, and how I'm doing it. Gosh forbid I would have put this bow on last, but anyway. So there is the, the finished piece. If you don't do anything further, that's how mine turned out. But I'm going to go on and quick share with you the rest of this. What I did was cut, like I said, seven by seven and a fourth for my treat box size. If it's if yours is different, you'll have to resize this. On the, and I have to measure this real quick. I should have measured this better. So with the seven and a fourth piece at the top, I cut in these two sides. First, excuse me, when you back up, you score it at two inches on all four sides. So two inches, two inches from this side, rotate it, and then score it two inches from each side in. And then, again, this is the seven and a quarth, fourth inch side. I just cut in here. I cut in little notches on both sides these two outside pieces just because it'll lay better when I put it all together. So to put this together, I'm going to do one at a time. I'm just going to put glue here and if you can see, ignore the fact that I scored wrong on one piece. I scored it at one and a half to start and that wasn't where it needed to be. Bring your corners up together. And I like to I'm looking for my bone folder. What I come in and do, I don't know if you can see, but I do use my bone folder to just burnish those flaps down really well. I'm trying to be careful of this stupid tripod on camera so it doesn't decide to fall again. Again, I'm just putting um, glue on these outside flaps here. You can use tape also, doesn't matter. I just use glue pretty much for everything, liquid adhesive, so. Okay, and then we'll do the other two pieces here. Uh, let's see. can't see what I'm doing exactly and you're just forming the bed of the box at first I thought this looked a little bit large and then I thought well you know by the time I get a little crinkle paper in there and a few treats it is not as big as it appears to be so I'm just sticking with this um, and I'll kind of give you an idea of how I figured out the size I need in case you res do make it resize it. Uh, let me get this in here please first. And what I did was I took my, my treat wagon. I'm going to use this one. It might be easier to explain to you. Uh, I just figured out because it's curved on the sides it kind of went in a little bit and I measured. So this is approximately three and a half inches so I went three and a quarter just to give a little bit of room okay and then you have to measure up the sides well I wanted two inches to go up each side so it's three and a quarter five and a quarter seven and a quarter that's how I got one measurement and then I decided well how wide do I want the bottom piece and that's where my three inches came in so and then I just went from there. Now, there's very little difference between 
your sides. So make sure when you do this that you put the longest side to the treat bag, the wagon. Mine will be, excuse me, mine will butt up right to the top here. And I don't know if you can see that at the top. I'm just trying to do that. So mine's right at the top, and then there's just a little bit at the bottom. So I'm putting glue on here. I'm being quite generous with the glue just to make sure it holds. And I am going to put a little bit on here. Also, again, just to make sure everything stays together. And then I'm just going to try and center it between the two end-to-end -end pieces here as best I can. And before it's actually down, I want to make sure that it's flush on the top here. Or, so that's why I have it tipped over just to let it do that. And then I'm going to use my bone folder inside. This glue does dry clear, so it'll be fine. So here is one side of the wagon. That writing will get covered up in a moment here. Now we're going to take the other piece and kind of try to get it lined up as best we can here. So, put some glue on my box. Now I'm doing this side a little different. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, especially on that body part. This piece, I'm going to stand up. Well, let's do this. Let's get it kind of centered where we want it. Hmm. I'm working backwards here, so I apologize. But I'm standing this up. I'm standing this one up. And then I'm going to work from there so I can get them. So the wagon is, you know, flat. Because it's harder to work from. Well, it might work to line these up here. It's harder to see the second one. I don't work everything through in my mind as I'm, you know, I can see it in my mind. I don't work out all these little details till I'm actually doing it. So if you're wondering, you're thinking, what in the world? Okay, so it's hard to see very well, but that's how the wagon actually sits now. I may come back yet, and um, I'm not sure if I'll put a little, you know, wagon a black piece for a handle. I think I'm just going to leave it plain. It's it's just not that big a deal. I have an extra piece here. Mine is to cut to fit in the bottom of my base. Um, I cut mine at three and a fourth by three, but if you see, it's minus one sixteenth on two sides. I took, it's just a sixteenth of an inch shorter, so what three and I'm not gonna do the math three sixteenths I think by two and fifteen sixteenths basically just a, a hair off of three and a fourth and three and that just gives it room to lay in there the reason I do this it, it gives the bottom and the sides believe it or not a lot more stability so I just lay that in the bottom of the box. You can do this before or after. And before you put the box to the side pieces, it's up to you. If you feel you need it on these two end pieces, go ahead, but keep in mind you have the pieces that fold it in, so that gives it a lot more stability. But this is a very sturdy little box. So I don't know how you're gonna be able to see this very well. I apologize, so I'm going to lay down its side, um, but that's my little treat box. That's my project for today. I am going to come back, and it'll, 
I can only do it on two sides at a time because it does have to lay flat. I knew there was one thing I forgot. I gotta get the lid on my glue before I lose yet another pin. Good grief, I don't know why I lose so many. I'm coming back with uh, the Nuvo Glitter Drops. This is in Ruby Slipper. I'm going to attempt to It'll work. I'm filling in the circles here. They have to dry for several hours, and then I'll do the other side if, if I remember. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, gives it little hubcaps, a little more festive. So, everyone, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share my public videos that I do for you guys if you wish. I don't mind at all. But again, thank you all. Have a great day. Take care, everybody.